Hey everyone, Jimmy here with WD Black, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to clone your existing SSD on your ASUS ROG Ally to a brand new WD Black SN770M using a few tools. So before we get started, I wanna go through the materials that you're gonna to need to successfully clone your drive. First, you need an ASUS Ally with its charger, and make sure that the Ally is fully updated and connected to Wi-Fi. Next, you're gonna need an M.2 NVMe enclosure. Make sure the enclosure that you get has a USB-C connector and is compatible with M.2 2230 form factor SSDs. We're gonna have a list in the comments that goes through the devices that we've tested so you know which ones are gonna work during this process. Next, obviously, you need your WD Black SN770M and then lastly, a screwdriver. Now that you know all the tools you'll need, let me explain why you should clone your drive. This is for those of you who've had an Ally and have filled it up and can't install any more games. Like you can see here, I'm not gonna be able to fit anything else on here. So now I wanna upgrade my capacity. I wanna go from a 500 gig to maybe a one terabyte or a two terabyte. Before we download the software you'll need to do the clone, there's a couple things you need to do to prep your ally for the clone. The first thing you wanna do is change your power settings. The last thing you want is, your ally, is for your ally to turn off or to go to sleep in the middle of the clone. That'll completely interrupt the process and you'll have to start over. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go down to your search bar and type in power. As soon as you see edit power plan, go ahead and click it. And you make this a little bit bigger. So you can see here, I've already done this, but what you, the settings that you need to change are for on battery. You wanna make sure that on battery, turn off display and put the computer to sleep or at least longer than one hour. The cloning process should not take that long, but you wanna give yourself enough buffer to make sure that the ally doesn't accidentally turn off in the middle of your clone, because otherwise you'll have to completely restart the process. The next prep thing I wanna talk about is BitLocker. Your ASUS ally ships with BitLocker enabled by default. And basically what this does is it encrypts all your data, but you don't really need that for your video games. So we do recommend that you disable it because this could have some impacts during the cloning process. Now, let me show you how to do that. So let's go back to the search bar, start typing in BitLocker. And when you see device encryption settings, go ahead and click that. So you can see here, device encryption is currently set to on. And as I mentioned, this comes turned on by default and you don't really need it and it can mess up the clone. So you're better off turning it off. Before we do this, I do wanna let you know that depending on how full your drive is, especially this one, this could take an hour or two. So make sure that you have your ally plugged to power before you start this process. So when you click the trigger, you'll get another pop-up here asking you to confirm and turn it off. I will point out that with the Acronis software that we're going to use to do the clone, I have been able to do the clone without disabling BitLocker. But again, we do recommend it because you're better off not running into any issues. So let's go ahead and turn it off. You can, at this point, you can put your ally down and step away. Now that you've disabled BitLocker, it's time to download the Acronis software. Open up your browser and go to the Western Digital Support page. You can do this by Googling Western Digital Support or, or going to westerndigital.com support. Here on the main page, scroll down and go to software downloads. After the page opens up, you're gonna look for a Cronus True Image software for Western Digital. This comes free because you bought a WD Black SN770M. So go ahead and click download for Windows. After the file finishes downloading, it will more than likely go to your downloads folder. Go to the downloads folder, click the zip file, and then hit the right trigger. This, this acts like you're right clicking the device. And then click extract all. This will help uh, unzip the file, and then you can go directly to the Acronis folder. Once you've zipped the file, go ahead and install the software. Follow the prompts. Click Start Application. 
Once you know, open up the software, go ahead and check the boxes and agree and click OK. After you click accept, this is the screen you're gonna see. So the Acronis software won't activate until you connect your WD Black Drive via the enclosure. So as I mentioned, you wanna make sure you get an enclosure that supports 2230 NVMe SSDs. The easiest way to see that is if they have this smallest point uh, for you to put the, the holder. Next, you wanna make sure you have your SN770M and you're gonna go ahead and connect it right into the enclosure. You should hear a click when you do that. Next, you wanna gently push down and lock it into place. You'll know that your device is secure when you hear a click go in and you're able to put the stopper in. Go ahead and close the enclosure. Next, get your USB-C cable and plug it in. Now that your NVMe enclosure is ready, let's go ahead and connect it to the Ally. This is the same port that you plug the power cable into. Next, let's click rescan. So now that Acronis can detect a Western Digital Drive, this is what the software looks like. First thing you wanna do is go to Tools. Click Tools, and then you can see the tools that are available to you. Today, we're gonna to click Clone Disk. You can either do that by clicking in the right joystick or by clicking with your finger. You notice here nothing happened, and that's okay. Uh, this is because your drive hasn't been initialized yet. So the easiest way to do that is actually go to Add New Disk. So here you're gonna see two drives. The grayed out one is the stock drive inside your device, and then the other one is the one that's in the enclosure. So you can see here, WD Black SN770M, one terabyte. What you need to do is click Next, initiate drive in a GPT layout, click Next again, click Next, and proceed. What this is doing is initializing your device. Another way you could do this is by going into disk management. This way is a lot easier. Okay, now click clone disk. So the easiest way to do this is by going with the automatic. So select automatic and click next. So what you're seeing here is what is currently on the disk, which is nothing, and then what will happen afterwards. So the stock drive in here, I have pretty full. So we're about to uh, clone about 450 gigabytes of data from, the, from your existing drive to your new SN770M. Go ahead and click proceed. This process may take up to 20 minutes. So as I mentioned, that's why we wanted your ally fully charged and go ahead and step away. Now that the clone is complete, go ahead and click OK. So now that we're done, you've successfully cloned your original drive to your new SN770M via your enclosure. The last thing to do now is act to physically swap out the drives. We have a step-by-step -step guide video on how to do that. Link is in the description below. And that's how you clone all your existing games from your Ally to your new WD Black SN770M.